Come on, Max. We'll find him and ask him. I'll take your word for it, Elsa. Georg, settle this for Max and me, will you? How far down the mountain does your property go? Can you make out that stone wall? That's the property line. You see? I didn't argue about it. I know. That makes me furious. I don't like to win without a fight. <clears throat> Herr Detweiler, while you were gone, you had a long distance call from Berlin. Who could be calling me from Berlin? They say you know who it was. Oh, yes, thank you, Franz. Now, Georg, what were we talking about? Max, this is not the first call you've had from Berlin. Now, Georg, you know I have no political convictions. Can I help it if other people have? Let's not bring that up again. The Germans have promised not to invade Austria. Max knows that. Well, then why does he bother to answer those calls from Berlin? Because if they don't keep their promise, I want to have some friends among them. Naturally. Oh, you agree too? Georg, this is the way I see it. There was a man who was dying. They were giving him his last rites, and they asked him, do you renounce the devil and all his works? And he said, at this moment, I prefer not to make any enemies. Georg, if they should invade us, would you defy them? Yes. Do you realize what might happen to you? To your property. To your children. To everyone close to you. To Elsa. To me. Well, what would you do if they come? What anyone with any sense would do. Just wait for it to all blow over. And you think it will? One thing's for sure. Nothing you can do will make any difference. Don't look so serious, darling. Take the world off your shoulders. Relax. Why not learn to put your faith in your reliance on an obvious and simple fact of science. A crazy planet full of crazy people is somersaulting all around the sky. And every time it turns a Somersaulting at a cockeyed angle, we make a cockeyed circle round the sun. And when we circle back to where we started from, another year has run. And there's no way to stop it, no, there's no way to stop it if the earth wants to roll around the sun. You're a fool if you worry, you're a fool if you worry over nothing else but little number one. That's you, that's I, and I, and me, that all observing character, that fascinating creature, that super special feature, me. Constellation in the sky revolve around the center of our universe. A lonely thing called I. And there's no way to stop it. No, there's no way to stop it. And I know, though I cannot tell you why, that as long as I'm living, just as long as I'm living, there'll be nothing else as wonderful as I.
Max, another call from Berlin. I'll call them back. You might as well talk to them now, Max. Yes, Max, go. Georg, I feel I know what's going to happen here. Can't you see things my way? No, not if you're willing to see things their way. Well, there's one thing you do better here than we do in Vienna. Your sunsets. Captain! Them. Maria! Georg, you didn't tell me Fräulein Maria was back. I'm delighted. Thank you. Captain, the children would like to know if they can take a break from the lessons tomorrow so that we may go on a picnic. Oh, yes. Yes, I don't mind. That will make them very happy. Fräulein Maria, you've returned. Isn't that wonderful, Georg? I wish you every happiness, Baroness. And you too, Captain. The children say you're to marry. Yes. Thank you, my dear. You're back to stay? Only until arrangements can be made for another governess. I must speak to the cook about the schnitzel. It's entirely too delicious for my figure. It makes you much too quiet at the dinner table. Or was it the wine? Undoubtedly the wine. You have no idea the trouble I'm having trying to find a wedding present for you. Oh, I know I'm enough, but I would like you to have some little trifle for the occasion. First I thought maybe a fountain pen, but you've already got one. Then I thought perhaps a villa on the south of France, but those are so difficult to gift wrap. Georg, how do you feel about yachts? A long, sleek one for the Mediterranean or, or a tiny one for your bathtub? Elsa. Where'd you go on the honeymoon? Now that is the real problem. A trip around the world would be lovely, and then I said, oh, Elsa, there must be some place better to go. But don't worry, darling. I'll Elsa. Yes, Georg? It's no use. You and I, I'm being dishonest to the both of us, and utterly unfair to you. When two people talk of marriage... No. Don't say another word. You see, there are other things I've been thinking of. Fond as I am of you, don't think you're the right man for me. You're much too independent. And I need someone who needs me desperately. Or at least needs my money desperately. I've enjoyed every moment we've shared together, and, and I do thank you for that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go inside and I'll pack my little bags and return to Vienna where I belong. It's somewhere out there. It's a young lady who I think will never be a nun. Auf Wiedersehen, darling. 